It's Palm Sunday. It's a very special day in this most holy week of our church year. It's the day when the palms are waving and it's the day when cloaks are laid down in the pathway of the one who comes as the great Messiah, the Savior, the one who is the Son of God. And people are crying Hosanna and Alleluia. And they're so pleased and thrilled that he is coming into Jerusalem in a victorious entry into the city. And the question becomes for us, how could in the course of one week, all of these cries of Hosanna turn into cries of give us Barabbas and crucify him? What happened to the people of that time? How is it that they lost their passion, uh, the disciples losing their will to follow the one who had given such great direction? After all, he was the one who cured the blind and the lame. He was the one who raised someone from the dead. He had given certainly wonderful testimony and people picked up on it. People became his convinced followers but in the course of this one week, all the air came out of that. And somehow the cries of crucify him drowned out any cries of Hosanna. Isn't it true for us too? We believe we have great conviction. We know that Jesus is Lord. We know that he's the son of God. And yet at times, sometimes we ourselves lose our conviction. We don't cry out against an injustice that we perceive. Uh, we fail to forgive another. We start to talk negatively about the people around us. We lose our conviction. We fail to follow him, the one who gives us the example of love and forgiveness. In the course of this week, as we hear again and again the passion, the narrative of Jesus' suffering and death, and eventually the whole story of his resurrection. Uh, let us recognize that reality in our own life as well. That sometimes our own conviction about following the Lord has all the air come out of it. And in action, uh, we fail to live up to the great words that we speak. May the Lord who underwent death itself and rising in order to inspire us do just that for us. Give us the motive that we need to celebrate not only his passion and death, but his resurrection and ascension, his bringing new life to all of us.